hello, hello, and welcome to the Rag Company Podcast. This is main show 74, Woo. and incidentally, it really is the last show of 2018. We did it, guys. We're done. All right. Let's go home. All right. Nice. So that's see you guys. it. Great. We'll see you next year. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> no. Happy okay. But seriously, we're here. We're going to talk. Don't worry. But uh, it really is the last day. We're in the final hours of 2018. So... I figured, uh, you know, in addition to the stuff we did this weekend, it might be nice to talk about hmm, some of the cool stuff that happened and this plans year. For this year too, and, maybe uh, a little you know, what's, what's coming State up? of the Union recap. I want to <laughs> yeah. do a recap. I want to I want to talk recap, about the cool things we did. Hits. The hits yeah, of 2018 yeah. The successes of 2018. So obviously, if you haven't listened to us before, you'll find out quickly. We make this stuff up on the fly. We're thinking off the top of our heads, so it may be a little jumbled here and there, but that's half the fun, right? It's it's happening as we speak. So It's like live radio. That's oh, right. I mean, recorded. Pre-recorded and live. Put yes. on the internet. Pre-recorded live podcast. that we don't typically recorded edit because live. we're too lazy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you get it. So why don't we first talk about our weekends, and then we'll get to that. That sounds all great. Like okay. That. So, you want me to go I first? saw you were doing some stuff this week. Well, Take it away. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, yes, I made a video on my Facebook page. Oh, yes. It was a live video. Oh, my Did it gosh. from my garage. Amazing. Yeah. So, <laughs> I did two this week. I did one on uh, Augie's Pump Change, yep. which uh, did really well. You're putting gloss coat in his pump. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. I just I was not out there for the detailers who were watching. Everyone knows it was not Glossco. That was pure no. insulin. Oh, oh, he's like, I feel weird. You're going to yeah, get him arrested. Protected, technically. Yeah. It costs oh. way more than Glossco, for those of you yeah. that are wondering. Yeah. Um, yeah. I joked, like, in one of the scenes, like, it showed I was tapping the bubbles out, and I squirted a little bit. And Carly's like, and there goes $10 of insulin. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, but, yeah, no, I did a little video on, on just what we go through every week. Yeah. This is our first, like, we've done 18 months now with diabetes and type one. So uh, just wanted to bring everybody in because they, a lot of people don't seem to understand like what our normal week is. And every three days we do pump changes on him. And yeah. so I thought I'd bring it up, let people see, and also why I've been detailing on the weekends. Cause I know there are some folks and I'm not saying anything other than people have messaged and just go, you work at the rag company. Why are you detailing on the side? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. You guys, you know, we don't make a ton of money. It looks like we do because we get to travel, but the company pays for that. That's kind of a perk. Um, so there are things that I do, pod, you know, doing the video uh, or doing in that video where I say, like, this is why I detail. This is why I bring people in is to, to detail their cars just so I can mm-hmm. cover that. Because I don't care how much money you make when you got to pay 550 bucks a month for insulin or diabetic supplies. It's not fun using your salary to I think take that. On a you want to try and find some money somewhere that else. Perception. I think so. So, Well, when we have this elaborate life of uh, driving Suburbans, Honda yeah. Civics, uh, yeah. Miatas. 2006 Elantras. Uh, 2006, I think Morgan rides her bike to work some days. Yeah. So, yeah. She you know. doesn't have a car. Yeah. <laughs> My mom drops me off. Yeah. So, like, I think Love people her. think that we live, you know, and yeah. I do, and I have a 2006 Elantra is an extravagant vehicle. Mm. Yeah. Um, but that was the biggest thing. Also, uh, I got the new mechanic detailing rig for Christmas from my parents. Yeah. yeah. How cool. is that? I have never, truth be told, I've never seen it before. Uh, didn't know about the company or anything like that. Got on their Facebook page, saw they had 25,000 likes mm-hmm. um, or followers, and uh, was a little surprised by that. Um, but they have some neat products. Two guys create the company, and they make the products. One's the designer, and one's the business guy. And so... Um, pretty neat little idea so i put it together and right off the bat when i was checking it out five wheels yeah which i like you and i both know those carts that break mm-hmm. all the time oh yeah um uh metal felt good strong uh wheels nice setup how, how three the, inch tall casters yeah the caster is the most important part to me because yeah. i have my harbor freight stool that i've broken two casters on yeah. i had to replace them with higher yeah. quality ones the stool is fine, but it's always the casters that break. Because yeah. when you go over the cracks in your little driveway and things like that. Your weight plus the angle just. And this yeah. thing's rated to 320 pounds. Nice. Which is nice. Sounds uh, like I could gain some weight and then sit on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, and, and that's the thing is like a lot of, but it, but it, but you're right. It's the, it's the rolling yeah. back and forth. Yeah. If it's rated for 200 pounds or 150 pounds and you're 180, you're already stressing the tolerances of that oh, yeah. metal and those wheels. And Absolutely. so. Absolutely. Uh, having something that was rated at 320 or 350 or whatever it is is it, that's it made me feel better seeing that. Yeah, I'm not 350 pounds, but 
it just means it'll hold up a lot longer and more use. Um, yeah. And truth be told, I'm a, I beat those to death. Uh, so we'll see how it comes out. But I put it together. It worked really easy. was able to go together very quickly, simply. Yeah. Um, it's the right height, right? Everything seems good on it. So I'm excited. Um, and uh, you guys can check that video out on Levi Gates on Facebook on my public page. Um, and uh, all the groups, I think I shared Which it. you in have. Those. 900 and something likes on that public page. Yeah. Let's get them to 1,000 likes. Come yeah. on, guys. 1,000 likes for 2019, likes. guys. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> and it'll be like 1 20th of what Morgan's at. Yeah. Well, that's, face, that's, <laughs> that's Instagram versus Facebook. Facebook public. <laughs> yeah. Morgan, figure Morgan, profile. Morgan, do you have a public Morgan figure doesn't have a for, public Facebook figure. Yeah. No, no I, have, I have like a Facebook page because you have to link it to have like a business profile yeah. or whatever, many, but it's many... private and it's like unpublished because I'm, yeah. like, I'm okay. just like, right. <laughs> you're like, no. Uh, Tim, can I get a little bit more audio um, feedback? Is my, is my, has my, feedback? has my volume? You're fine. I hear my you volume good. Fine. Okay. Yeah. I need to yeah. adjust I feel mine. like I hear Levi well, but so, the rest of us seem rather quiet. Uh, twist one of those. I don't know which one yours is. <laughs> yeah, just give me Any a little, rate, continue. A little twist here. I'm trying. It's not going. I'm trying. Twist. Oh God, it's going to hurt your ears. You're going to blow your ears Oh yeah, the screen one. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah. All right. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's my. So, okay, cool. uh, but yeah, so we went, uh, did that, got to put that together. Kids, yeah. wife, we just kind of hung out, had a good little weekend. Last night, uh, we drove up Highway 21 to Grimes Creek on the mm-hmm. way to Idaho City. Uh, oh, yeah. Took the Suburban up there and found some snow. How'd, the, how'd those, uh, what are those ice, what are those ice cats, what do you have on the tires? Uh, those are radial SXT mud terrains. Ooh, they're Deans. How'd they do? Uh, they're great. They're 33 inch tall tires. They've mm-hmm. got studs and, uh, uh, had the truck and four wheel drive in the snow. No problem. Made it up there. Easy. Uh, the dog had a blast. He was in four wheel drive in the snow too. Yeah. He looked like he was, enjoying was that jumping a lot. in the snow and he was just as <laughs> big like as some of the like, snow. Yeah. I was going to say, it looks like he was in the snow. He was he in the out? snow. <laughs> yeah. He we had a blast. He slept the whole way back, but, uh, it was fun. Grimes Creek. We used to hold Easter up there, my family mm-hmm. for a number of years. So as a child, I grew up on this one part of the Canyon that we called ski lack Canyon. It's a family thing. One of my uncles or my great uncle's dog died there. His name was ski lack. And so they, Buried him there. I don't know how he died or what happened, <laughs> but that was the that was the uh, lore. Uh, so it was fun to take my kids up there because they've never been up, and just kind of wander. Kids, that. this is where a dog died. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, <laughs> it's dog. just that's a spot that my family has always gone. We didn't yeah. own the property; it's private. You know, it's just public property, um, and we just go up there, have Easter, you know, spend our Sunday up there, have a potluck light a fire, hide some Easter eggs. So growing up, it was always fun there to do that. It was also really cool in Easter when we'd get uh, snow. Yeah. And you get to play in the snow up there. But then, so it was just fun. Something to do with the kids. We got out of town. It took us 20 minutes to get up the hill from my house because we're just right there. So uh, it was nice. So uh, we're going to go back up next weekend, get some sled, bring some sleds, and uh, actually do some sled. And since there's a ton of snow up there and it's pretty packed and frozen up there, so... Uh, we'll be able to have some fun. But that was it. Tonight, uh, wife and I are going to put the kids to bed at 8 o'clock. We're going to pretend like it's New Year's at 8 o'clock and then say, all right, good night, bye. And, and then uh, we're just going to have the rest <laughs> of the night to it. ourselves. Yeah, so <laughs> making my world-famous stoner dip, um, which I usually only make on New Year's Eve. Uh, I have to life. ask, what's in that? <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah, I used to make it when I used to do a lot of drugs. Okay. okay. So it's kind of a hodgepodge. Yeah. So <laughs> if you guys want to know what it is, this is how I do it. I take mm. uh, refried beans, two cans of refried beans, Ooh. put them in a pot, yeah. boil it, right? Get it get it boiling, get the refried beans yeah. going. Then I take half a jar of paste picante sauce. Uh, you can pick your temperature. Yeah, I like yeah. mild. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I pour half of a jar into that, mm-hmm. stir it up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then take a bag of shredded cheese. Oh. Like Mexican shredded cheese. Like the whole bag. Dump like the whole bag. bag. Okay. Oh it's like two or three cups. Stir that up. Yeah. This stuff gets so gooey. I'm invested because in the this cheese. Now. Yeah. yeah. Because there's so much cheese in it that you stir it up and it melts. Yeah. And then it's just like, I mean, it's heavy and thick. And then uh, once you get it all melted, then you're done. And uh, you start dipping chips into Pretty it. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Why, Super why simple. Why do we shoot detailing shows? We should be shooting cooking shows with Levi. Super simple. Yeah. Super fast, but like one of those things that's like insane yeah. when you eat it because you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was this good. <laughs> See, like I, my one of my guilty pleasures is, dude, I love like 
the nasty Ortega nacho cheese. You know what I'm talking about? Like the gas station. You're talking the, about like the at gas the gas station, station or at oh, like yeah. a sports yeah. theater. Park. Like yeah. anything like, you know what I mean? Where they, where it just like, or yeah, when you go to like a sports When you get game, those like cheap tortilla yeah. chips that are like a and circle just, come in a clear plastic tray and they have that glue cheese. And then the chips cheese. get all floppy. Yeah, they get soaked, soaked in them. I love it that. It tastes like nostalgia, but I no. got to say, I do not care for oh, that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Throw some jalapenos on that. So you could alter the stoner dip and do that. Put the liquid cheese on top of it. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking have like two cups, like one with just cheese and one with that dip, and I can go from one to the other. Yeah. Do that. I'm just saying that on your way home, like I would stop and get yourself a jar of paste. With like a couple cans of refried beans. With like get one of like the spicy Doritos. You can. The sky's the limit. You can well, pick any type of chip. You could do Cool Ranch. Yeah. You could do regular restaurant style. You could do lime. I don't do drugs, but if I did. Have uh, you guys tried the hint of lime chips? Yes. I do like those lime are chips. literally so good. They yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. No, the first I, thing Morgan so. says is about hint of lime chips. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are so good. They like, are. I just thought about that, and now yeah. I just want them. Right? Yeah. So, it's true. What, what we do is we literally make this dip, and my wife and I eat that bowl at, yeah. on that's New Year's awesome. Eve. Um, but then that's that's our plan. Tomorrow we're just gonna hang out. We'll probably go find a, some place to hike, and uh, that's about it, man. I'm I'm excited for the new year because we've got a ton of trips, hmm. and it's gonna January is sure. gonna be a crazy month. It Not only starts for off for us, but personally yeah. for myself. Um, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna it's gonna be good. I'm excited about it. So no, is your dog afraid of fireworks? Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> Oh, you haven't. I, didn't, I haven't had him long enough to do fireworks around him. Cause, uh, yeah, mine is. She is terrified of those things. So that's that's one thing. I'm thinking, well, uh, my buddy. I'll put him in his crate and I'll <laughs> put, cover him with a blanket, and then I don't have to worry about. Just play music it. in the background. Yeah, yeah. music the, music drowns it out usually. Yeah. No, you music might up or put on things, put on like a loud TV show. It'll yeah. help. No. my kids It'll will have help. their sound machines on, so mm-hmm. hopefully they don't hear the fireworks because my neighborhood does do. Because I didn't move out of my neighborhood. Yeah. So. My neighbors you still know how a it ton, is. like they fill the. You walk out at twelve thirty, and the it smells like Fourth of July again. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, how many fireworks? Well, being out in Meridian, I'm definitely subjected to more of the uh, questionable fireworks. Where you're like, well, you, get uh, speed, you, get the, you get the Speedway too, right? Are they? Still well, you got the Speedway too. Probably. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you're more over here in Boise, you get like Hawk Stadium doing stuff sometimes. But yeah, out where I am, they have the the Speedway, so they. To have all the the setup there, but get yourself a bucket of beer and watch fireworks. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'm going over goal. to my buddy's for New Year's tonight, and uh, I'll probably bring Callie, my dog, with me just so she's not scared. Cause... Well, that way, when the fireworks go off, she can wreck his house and not your house. <laughs> That's a good. She's smart. She, she, she will be. She will be fine as long as she's with me. What I'd be more worried about is her she left by herself. Everybody in the park. <laughs> like, oh my oh, god! Who brought so the Great Pyrenees? <laughs> There's so yeah, much blood. For, for yeah. those who aren't aware, she is a very large dog. She's, she's a big dog. A great Pyrenees <laughs> crossed with the Red Healers, so she's uh, she's she big and stopped. She big. can't be stopped. <laughs> it takes a couple of, uh, elephant tranks to put her down. <laughs> she's she's a sweet dog, but she definitely uh, misbehaves sometimes. So yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Anyways, anyway, what, what else did you do this weekend? <laughs> what did you do? Are you this dry, weekend, so you, you went and found some snow too. Yeah, I went and found some snow because I was getting kind of frustrated. I was like, I want that snow. Everybody else is saying, Hey, Dane, stop asking asking for snow. We don't want it. I'm saying, I want snow. I enjoy snow. I like it. It's why I live in a place where hopefully it snows once in a while. <laughs> it did. It yeah. snowed a little bit last night. Yeah. Like a dust. <laughs> it, was a it was like a dusting. Yeah. yeah. So rather than wait around for it to show up here in the valley, I decided eh, I'll drive up Bogus Basin, check it out up there. I'm sure there's some snow. I hadn't really considered that even on a Sunday how packed up there it would be. There were so many people. And uh, they started their night skiing, too. So I mm-hmm. was there until, like, after dark and stuff, just driving around up there for fun. But, yeah, it was a little crowded in all the parking lot areas, but there were a few spots where you could still goof off a little, you know, have some fun. Nice. It's all-wheel drive. I didn't take my Miata up. I did see somebody going <laughs> down in a Miata. I saw you turned off the like, DTSC, hmm. though. Oh, yeah. You got to turn off traction okay. control. That's right. But when I was like, going up, I did pass you and your boyfriend coming down the mountain. Mm-hmm. Uh, I looked, and I was like, Silver Bug Eye. Do I recognize? Yeah, it looks like Brando's. <laughs> Maybe it is. And then he messages me on Instagram after he sees me posting some stories of me goofing off up there. He's like, I think I passed you. Look back at it. Yep, you did. So, yeah. yeah just fun Everybody wants some snow, so mm-hmm. I have a little fun with that. But yep. at any yep. rate, yeah, didn't go too crazy this weekend. Just decided to do that. What My big thing this weekend was actually clearing out uh, the house and making some uh, big donations. <clears throat> Did you so, donate your Christmas tree? 
<laughs> <laughs> Took it down. No, nope. donated it. Tree, tree is still where it is. Oh, okay. All right. It's still seasonal right now. That's true. That's I'm not going to start getting. Uh, You've crap got at for least it until three for Kings at least Day. Another month, <laughs> and then. Then it'll start. <clears throat> Neighbors will be like, oh, it's still up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I donated things like a treadmill nice. and like some other stuff. Like there, there were some it's big things. Gonna and get yes, some write-offs for <clears throat> the end of the year. I hauled a treadmill in the Volvo. It's That's proof nice. you can do it. That was not a small treadmill. So that was that was pretty cool. But, Is it uh, broken? No. Is that why it you worked? donated it? No. Why don't you want it? I would like to point out that Dennis Davis made the most savage comment of 2018. That was pretty dope. Oh, he what? did call before we started <clears throat> the podcast, and I'm sorry, Dennis, if you're listening to this. I had to ignore you because we were literally I getting it. ready to start. I, that was, I laughed so hard <laughs> I when I saw died. that. I died. Did you see his comment? Did you see Dennis's comment? I think I missed it. No, What's he, up? Said, he, said, he said, Dane, did you finally hit your weight goal to where oh, you can get rid of, oh, you your, get rid of your treadmill? Oh, yeah, and oh, I no. was like, <laughs> I was like oh, now I remember. Oh, I blacked it out from memory. So funny. I was like, oh. That is great. Yeah, yeah. you know Dennis, just the nicest guy. He's in the, the nicest world. man Dennis in the is world. Dennis a sweet man, but it's yeah, so a little awesome. savagery in there. That's that was, funny. It was awesome. I love Kudos, it. Dennis. You you earned that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, Morgan. Uh, yeah. what, what do you got? What do you got going on this weekend? This weekend, I deep cleaned my car, which is now dirty mm. again because I went to take pictures, so it's dirty again. But mm. I did deep clean it. I put um, the new tire dressing on all of the tires now, so it's not just one anymore. Nice. Oh, so we'll have uh, Did you prep idea. it? What did you do? I cleaned it. N- I mean, do you prep the tires before putting on the uh, dressing? Yeah. Oh, really? Cool. Well, w- what'd you use on it? I cleaned it with power clean and then... Okay. Yeah. Yep. Heck yeah. All right. So she... She's it's got all four tires coded now in optimum tire coding yep. protection. Yep. yep. Gosh, she's got it better than the rest of us. Yeah, I that's true. Have, I, have, on our I, tires have, I have one tire done. <laughs> well, and you riding on the rubber bands on those just means they're going to last even longer. Yeah. I think I'm just. I literally got a hardly here. had to use any. Yeah. No, that product <laughs> goes a long way. But when hardly. you have almost no sidewall mm-hmm. to begin with, it's just. Start charging go 25 yeah. bucks further. a tire. Yeah. I Put think I, I think I'm probably also going to do it on my winter set too and i'll do it like off the car so now i'm thinking there's definitely a market if uh, uh some detailers who want to get their hands on some uh, tire coating optimum tire coating and go out and uh start marketing to the it's, stance it's it's guys, the, it's the right? new it's the new I mean, headlight restoration guy. It's, yeah. it's easy because yeah. it's the tire coating you don't guy. have a lot of sidewall to deal tires. with mm-hmm. you're just gonna you know well it's out well, you're it, well so. what you do is you get them when they're swapping tires so, oh, so okay. they get their they take their tires off for winter mm-hmm. and they put their snow tires on and then you clean <laughs> protect yeah. yeah get the nice tires and wheels all done and finished and ready to go so they can put them away and then in springtime they come in Tires are already finished. Maybe you coated the wheels and coated the tires. Yeah. So now everything's ready to roll. Mm-hmm. You're it's ready cool. for show season. Yeah, when you swap back in, you're ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, I, I think that's nice. And yeah, by the way, we, we have used that product a bit. It is it, it's cool stuff. Yeah, I know, need to put it on my compared to typical like uh, you know, your your usual tire shine. Yeah. It seems to yeah. really seem to work. So heck yeah. All right on. Anything else? So that was that was Saturday, and then Sunday I went and took pictures, and I went up um, to like Lucky Peak. Oh, nice. So I kind of just took the same trail you what did. Was, what was the weather like up there, going up there on your car? Mm-hmm. The road wasn't like the roads the road weren't bad. Fine. They had like yeah. the, the like the dirt and like they were wet. Yeah. But like there wasn't really any snow or anything. Yeah, there wasn't on them. any ice on them or anything. And yeah. you haven't switched tires yet, nope. have you? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm I'm honestly like <clears throat> wondering out. if I'm even gonna have to. Oh. Because like. What, it's supposed it, to hit 40 next week. Yeah. Like, what? And it's going to rain a lot. I, so. I'm telling you guys, we're yeah. going to have another snowpocalypse. I'm waiting for it. No. I'm waiting. It'll be when we get back from Mobile It's, it's going to happen like late January, early February, I'm betting. You think so? I think something's going to happen. I feel yeah. like nothing's going to happen. I'll put we'll money see. on that. Anyway. Right. <laughs> All I know is I, I got to set up 30 degrees with studs. Thinking, but it's it's so I'm been good to too go. long now. I just feel Elantra like something's going to give. Yeah. However, I will say it was icy this morning because I was on Park Center mm-hmm. and uh, I was exceeding the speed limit on Park Center and the rear end on the Elantra started to give out. Like, well, go out. Well, it yeah, came around a little more. Yeah, that there much you power go. to the rear Talk wheels there. Right? Well, it's, I was wondering. I was like, well, I, was I was behind. I was behind. sway bar. Not yet. I haven't put oh. that on yet. <laughs> so, no, but I was looking at it. I was behind an, an explorer that was going far too slow mm. for the road conditions. Yeah. And I'm not saying they weren't being safe. They were just being way overly cautious. The road wasn't that slick. Yeah. So, I they changed lanes. I passed them. And then I 
started to go around the curve and I noticed the rear end start to just come out just just a touch it didn't break free but I could feel it and I was like oh a little slick <laughs> but I have studs on the Elantra and snow yeah. tires so I was fine just but, didn't have any weight in the back yeah well I don't have <laughs> anybody in there so <laughs> just no. me and my high performance machine <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> but uh the tibby sway bar will stiffen up that rear end it'll yeah. be able to corner a little better well I'm sure it's it gonna slide more is what it's gonna do i'll, I'll be able to enter the i'll be able to enter <laughs> but the you'll corner have more park control center. when you do when i enter that corner on park center i'll be able to take it at like 45 miles an cornering hour. Flatter. I'm gonna be like sitting on like the sidelines of you taking like a corner, and I'm gonna sit over like the other side of that the little wall there. And I'm gonna tap on the wall where I want you to kick the rear end out, like yeah. a drifter does. Yeah, and I'm gonna, gonna be like, e I'll be like, right here, right here, bring it here, man, bring it here. I'm immediately reminded more of uh, sparks from the, the, the drift training scene in Tokyo Drift, where you're just like sitting off and you're like reeling in a fish in the corner, kind of watching them. He's all right, yeah, <laughs> kind of thing. Well, but it, it, but that movie, there's so many bad drifts. I'm like, I'm sitting here like, are you new to just driving in general because nobody's that bad yeah it was i had that down when i was 16 yeah like, don't you know you have to lower your own bar so it can seem more impressive when you finally uh, cross but my favorite so. part of that entire movie for detailers is watching those dudes um, do a full paint correction mm, with a random orbital buffer mm, yeah and yeah. you're like and it's literally one shot it's totally oxidized bad paint and the other side's like perfect showroom finish yeah i was yeah. like and he's like jiggling. That's reality. Like, like, I don't know why you're bringing it up. The car like was rusty <laughs> yeah. in like the I'm previous like, shots. There's no way they buffed that and paint And you're out. like, how is that even? <laughs> is that a polisher or is it a vacuum just sucking the rust out of the paint? Yeah. Like, yeah. what? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> That's um, great. It's one of my favorite. Oh. This big, that big yeah. guy over there. <laughs> Anthony, uh, what did you do this weekend? So um, Friday, I didn't do a whole lot. I actually went and had to pick up some brushes uh, for, for us, um, so for our inventory. Um uh, from one of our local suppliers that we have. Who got um, in a bad uh, snowmobile wreck. Super bad snowmobile Ooh. wreck. And so he had some extra brushes that um, that we needed uh, to fulfill some orders. And he, yeah, dude, a snowmobile fell on him. Jeez. Oh. Um, and broke his leg in, like, two oh different places. Um, he said, and he was in the middle of uh, McCall, and he was up in the mountains of McCall. Mm. They pretty much, he to get out of the area, they were in a no-service area, they had to, um, uh, how do I say this? Break his leg back into place. Yeah. Set it. Drive Whoa, him. Okay. And drive him back to the hospital. Yeah. And he was there for a week for <clears> three <throat> different surgeries. It, I mean, it looked pretty bad. I felt really bad. Oh. Um, he was, yeah, definitely a little out of it. But hopefully he recovers. Um, I'm trying to think. So prior, I didn't want to talk. I did. I did go and see Aquaman. Did I mention that on last yeah, week's you did, podcast? You didn't yeah. talk about it on the podcast. I didn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> five out of ten. On, on you're Aquaman. mildly enthused. No, it was just one of those things where it's like I like origin story movies, and that one like started out great, but there was just a lot going on at a, two different points. Like when yeah. a movie has like six wars, fifteen battles, two duels. So like, you're saying there's too many subplots. There's just going there's on. too there's too many things, and like yeah, it's a very uh, elaborate and big you know Production. a lot of visuals and things like that. But I think you even said they try to do that a lot of times to um, you know really gain the international audience for a, yeah, lot of, a lot of times. In the case, I think Aquaman, Aquaman was released in China first. It was. It and garnered it was basically, million And it had a huge week. opening before they ever, you know, brought it here. So they were, in a lot of ways, the studios for these, you know, big budget blockbuster type movies are trying to do like a visual spectacular. They win over folks who maybe don't yeah. come from like, it, it's not necessarily an English speaking thing, so it's either dubbed or it's going to have subs or something like that. So for a lot of it, you know, not discounting anyone, but basically they're going for that visual feast kind yeah. of thing. So it, that'll work to a degree. But then yeah. when it comes here, people will start, you know, maybe tearing it's holes in a like, plot and all just, that stuff. There's just so, there's, there's just so much. But, like, there. after you mention that, I said, yeah, dude. I mean, in the international countries, especially, like, in China and Japan, like, they would love this because it's got, you know, this American actor who, like, they literally have moments in the movie where he is just, like, smoldering. Yeah. Like, I mean, he'll look at the camera and, like, steam is flying behind him. <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm like, they're really pushing the whole and Jason Momoa this, thing the here. Smolder there. And so, um, but I did see that. Um, okay, I wouldn't buy it, but it was it was good. You also um, watched... Uh... Bird Box, didn't you? Yes, and I also watched Bird Box, and I <clears> wanted to see all the hype was about on that. Terrifying moment. Let me kind of talk about that really quick. So it was on that Friday night. Oh. Watching Bird Box starts off, and I'm already kind of feeling like I'm not a huge scary movie fan, but I do like a good like suspense movie. This is one of those movies where I'm watching, I'm like, okay, my heart's a little fat, going a little faster a little than, than, it, than it normally would. And I'm like, but I'm feeling this. It's all good. 
And then halfway through the movie, if you've seen this movie, you'll understand why this is so freaking crazy. My Alexa just starts playing music, right? Loud. I'm talking no. loud. Nope, and I nope, look nope, over, nope. I'm like, I like, I look at Katie, I'm like, it was just me and her home. Like, what's going on here? And she's like, I don't know. It's probably just malfunctioning. Probably heard something on the TV. <laughs> I walk over, and we have one of the new Amazon shows where it's like a screen, and you can mm. see everything. And I see the song name and then the lyrics displaying as the song's on. And it was, I Only Have Eyes For You by Michael Buble. I was like, <laughs> F this. I, I tell Katie. I'm like, because if you've seen the movie, you'll so know why this is If you remember, Anthony now has a smart home. He <laughs> set all his stuff up. It, it's and, and you're fully I'm wired now. Kind of regretting. And the first weekend <laughs> that it's running, it's already freaking me out. So <laughs> I go to Katie. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? It's playing. I only have eyes for you by Michael Bublé. She's like, it's probably just heard something on the TV. I'm like, Katie, no, it didn't. You, know, you can go, in your, <laughs> you can go in your Alexa app and it'll tell you what oh. it heard to make that command. Okay, happen. well then I'm gonna need to do that because I was I was freaking out. I don't know how to you work this new damn thing. I'd love it, if he things... checks it and the answer gives him less peace of mind. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I just went, I just went, I just unplugged that thing straight from the wall. And she's like, don't unplug it. I have to reset it now. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, it's, <laughs> it's about to go out in the garage, you know, because I don't want this listening to anything I'm doing. Um, so that happened. We watched that good good movie that I think I understand. Um, basically, it's like if you've seen that movie. Um, Quiet Place. A Quiet Place. I think same concept, but I do like the, I like this. I like this really? concept better. I think, yeah. The quiet. Well, everybody kept saying they liked Quiet Place no, more. No, the, the Quiet, the quiet Place. The, the, I couldn't help but think how stupid those people were <laughs> to think a mattress will protect them from this thing with scissor claws. If you've mm-hmm. seen the movie, you'll understand what I'm saying. It, it's it, there's <laughs> flaws in that movie. If you've you know if you're a zombie apocalypse guy like me, where I'm like I like to know what I'm doing to be prepared, they did it wrong. I feel like Morgan wants to weigh in on this. No. Nope. What? No, she doesn't. Okay. No, She's shaking I, her head. No, but like it's weird that both of those movies were like kind of same time ish. Mm, about like a year. About like yeah, six months later. Like within, but like. But they you were figured so like similar. production. Was... Dude, they probably because probably there's so many the there's idea. so many memes. Yeah. I don't know. Like you guys, you guys are like Facebook meme people. I don't know, but like. <laughs> oh. Tw- oh. Like Twitter. Oh. Like Twitter. Wow. Twitter is. Oh. is she can't is, even call us old by just saying we're old. Like, yeah, you guys do stuff on your Facebook wow, meme. Your, your Facebook people. people. <laughs> Morgan, I will have you know, I met oh, my wife man. on MySpace. Yeah. Oh my that God. doesn't oh. help. <laughs> so back off, man. <laughs> no, but like Twitter, like is literally full of. Bird Box memes yeah, oh yeah. and oh tweets yeah. and like so I I hadn't watched it at first because I was like sure it is I don't Bird know like Box is full of tweets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. No, okay, all right. right now, Sorry. Right. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> um. And so I was like, oh my god, like I'm sick and tired of not knowing what's going on, like what these memes are about. So you watched it? Yeah. Oh, okay. What do you think? I didn't watch it. I knew what it was on. Well, about. she watched it, but she had a blindfold on while she. Yeah. Did. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> well, it was funny. It was funny because then uh, when me and Brandon came home from Albertsons last night, there was a there was like a tree full of birds, and it was like it was like midnight, and they were just they were just chirping so loud, and I was like, we both had beanies on. I was like, I was like, pull your eyes, <laughs> and then we and then we tried to walk into the house with like our beanies covering our heads. It was funny. It yeah. was funny. <laughs> Um, anyway, I watched that movie uh, Saturday, woke up, I, I wanted to reorganize some of the stuff in my garage, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with all the 16-ounce bottles of product that I have, uh, meaning that- You drink them. Uh, no, no. Oh. no. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm having a, so I have my, my little cart that I have. Yeah. I have my, uh, it's called my Obsessed Garage Target cart, if yeah. you know what I'm talking about. It's yeah, the, I used it's to, the, that was my Ikea cart that I used as a nightstand for a number of years. Yeah. $30 <laughs> Before metal cart. Before everybody started yeah. posting it on OG. It's been, it's been, a, it's been a great cart. I love that thing, but it only holds so much on that top shelf. And so I need to figure out something else to do with my 16 ounce bottles that do have sprayers on them. So I'm trying to figure out some type of solution. I still want my stupid husky cabinet that I don't currently have room for to put those in. I need to figure out something for my chemicals because I was like going through the things. And the problem is, is I have half bottles of certain things, full bottles of other things that I can't consolidate. And I don't have enough empty sprayer bottles, um, like, you know, basic sprayer bottles to do things with. Um, So I did, I did do that. I tried to organize some stuff. Um, I wiped down the interior of my car. I just did a quick you know, 
O and R wipe down on the panels. It was getting a little dusty, sure. and so pulled that out. Took a couple pictures in the snow on Saturday, and that's when Brian and I started ruthlessly mocking you. Yeah, and you guys are tearing me apart. <laughs> that was yes. hilarious. I, I did. It. How wrong I, were we? No, not wrong at all. I literally, <laughs> okay. ba- I carefully backed the car <laughs> out of the garage, pulled it just in the right amount of snow, got out, took a couple pictures, you made sure your footprints weren't in the shot, made sure my footprints were in the shot, backed it up. Pulled it right back yep. in the garage, and I said, there's my snow shots. I did it, you know, And done. immediately, Brian reposted it because gearhead detailing and yeah. just basically said, don't be fooled, guys. This is probably about as far as that car went. It was. <laughs> it was. I backed it out, and I was like, I was like nope. Because the car is, I mean, the car. The thing <clears> is, is in the winter months, that car does stay super dust-free on the exterior compared to the summer months. Yeah. When I open up the garage and things like that. And so right yeah. now it's just, it's completely clean and it's been clean. I haven't washed it for well over a month and a half now. Um, and it still looks great. So I'm like, I'd rather just not have to wash it or clean it up. I prefer not to. If I have sure. to, I will. Um, now on Sunday or on later that Saturday night, we went out furniture shopping. Went out checking some different stuff out. Uh, what are it, you trying to get? So Katie wants to get new bedroom furniture ah. and is what she wants to do. Uh, bedroom furniture is expensive. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's like, also a very adult purchase. It is. And that's why I was telling her, I'm like, she's you like, should go to, you guys should do a day trip to Salt Lake well, and she go was, to Ikea. Well, she was telling me, she's like, do you like this? I'm like, Take yeah, I'm like, I like this. And then I told her, I'm like, but do you, do you like this for the next 15 to 20 years? And she's like, what furniture are we having for 15 to 20 years? I'm like, this furniture is expensive enough this is like a 15 <laughs> to 20 year purchase whatever you get you make sure you, you guys like aren't going to be stuff. changing it every season you'll I'm change like, the I'm color like, of the bedroom and you'll yeah. change the the I'm comforter like, and stuff but the frame like. is not going to be going anywhere and so we're looking at stuff and yeah dude things are things are pretty pricey but i definitely... don't want it to look like the 90s or the Cor- 80s correct because like my dad had a set that looked like it was straight up 1989 <laughs> like yeah. futuristic and he had that for like up until the mid 2000s. Yeah. And yeah. then he went like old oak and like more of a timeless look. Yeah. You know? Dude, there were some that we were, we were going through RC Willie and like I'd walk past it and there'd be this big old wooden carved thing um, with like a fur thing on the. I'm like, that's a that's a Game of Thrones bed right there. I'm like, <laughs> a I Dane like, of Thrones. I'm like, bed. I yeah. like that. And I was going to send Dane a picture and say, <laughs> Dane, this is your new bed. Yeah. But I just really want to get a, a king size bed. I'm not, I'm, the, I'm not about the queen life anymore in the. I just I want that extra space to spread out. So uh, we did that. It's pretty um, great. I dude, I bet it's it is. Great. And then uh, Sunday was just a cleanup day. I went and cleaned up the house. Uh, you know, did some interior detailing. I guess as some people say, O and R wipe downs, bead maker, the granite countertops. You can I, do um, that, folks. You can. And my my little my new Roomba thing, my new robot DJ oh, Roomba. Yeah. It's getting super dusty. It's this glossy black, and it's getting super dusty from the him? floors. Uh, I didn't coat it, but I put bead maker on it, <laughs> and it seems to be helping. <laughs> and it is glossy, dude. And this thing when it when it like when it's driving and it catches right underneath the right light. I'm like, what is that? So you're going to get thing. scratches on it. You're going to be out there polishing it and trying to get it to shine. <laughs> it should be a like crime it's the piano black, babe. To piano take black. something that's designed to clean and then make the body of it gloss black. That's just a bad idea. I- I that's a bad idea. Dude, I don't. I don't get it anyways. And I set up my Goes ring. Car uh, my ring doorbell stuff. is now set up. So I got that thing. And uh, it's it's funny because we still have uh, Blake, still my roommate at my house, and so. I can see him every time he goes in and out of the house. And he's like, it kind of makes me uncomfortable that you know my every move. And I'm like, yeah, it really? should. Yeah. You just send so him you like know, a, pay me a quick text so like your flies down. He'll, he'll, he'll be walking up to the house and I'll answer. I'll say, hey, what's going on? He's like, can you stop doing that? I'm like, just, okay, I'll see you inside here in a minute. All right, see ya. And then he opens the door and there I am. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, good to see you again. God, that would get old so fast. I know, oh. I know. I mean, you should Blake, get one do for your house. yourself a favor and move out. Yeah. You can do that to Liz all the time. Oh. Liz yeah. hasn't left the house today. Liz. The door hasn't moved. Or yeah, she's like oh. leaving at odd times. Yeah. Tonight. Liz, where are you going? She's like, I was going to to uh, yeah. Jack in the Box. Turns yeah. out yeah. Callie can walk on ring. two legs and goes out the front door like, yeah. oh my oh, god, what? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> she opened the door so <laughs> The things no. you learn that you don't want she to goes, learn. Row, 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 row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, no, that was it. I mean, yeah. it was a pretty pr- pretty, pretty low-key weekend and then, uh, uh, then I gotta get ready because I'm doing a half day today. Half day, Anthony. Look out. Look day. out. So You're like me last week when I had to, I just left. Did you? I just um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, half, half day, day did Anthony. the podcast and bounced. Uh, boo boo, buddy. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right, let's get back on some detailing yeah. stuff. What, what do you? So we got about? the. You guys got the uh, Grand Ambassadors figured out. We did. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're not going to be releasing those yet. 
Till uh, Friday. Till Friday. So uh, those of you that are Grand Ambassadors, congratulations. You will be getting a call uh, this week from yep. these guys, getting you guys kind of get the lay of the land. Getting you set uh, up. And we do have some international Grand Ambassadors. We will tell you yeah. that. So, yep. what, so um, Dane, what, what do you guys think about the I, – I think we did the best job in terms of um, – getting this bracket down and, and yeah. choosing these yeah. people. You guys and did a good job. You had it all set it up was, in the conference room, went we through spent, every... We spent two and a half days. I, I want everybody to know, it was not easy. We had a lot of people to look at, and I'll tell you right now, just don't want to bum anybody out, but an automatic disqualification was if you had a private account. That's just, that's yeah. a non-starter. You, well, can't, you can't see well, it. Well, do the, anything with that. Well, so. the main reason for that is, this, is if you have a private account, the time it takes us to, to, to you know, try to get to, to into your private account, and then we have no idea how long it's going to take for you to approve us. So when we're going through these accounts, we can't say, oh, we, we, yeah, we, we, uh, we, you know, we tried to follow this account, but they didn't give us approval until, you know, two days before. Two, it just, it, it, it can't work like that. You know, it was one of those things where a public account, we had to have that. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that did have some privates, and we're, and we're sorry. Uh, you well, know, it was a bummer because there was well, somewhere like, just means next I bet time, this would if be you're good, gonna apply, I just yeah, make next sure time, public... next next quarter, if you apply, make sure that when you do your application, you change the settings on your Instagram account. Yeah. Plain and, and simple. It, and that's and that's just part of. I mean, you're a public. You're we're basically appointing <laughs> you as a public representative <laughs> of the rag company. See this. That's people the idea. People have to be able to see it, and and if they can't see it, then it doesn't really work out so well yeah. for that. And and so and. It's just one of those things, but yeah. but that that means that that's room that if somebody wants to make their account public and then try again next quarter, absolutely, we will give you the same shot everybody else. Gets. Yeah. So Morgan, what did what did what did you think? Out, Morgan but... had her own list <laughs> and she had to go through. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you think we did? I think I think we were really really thorough with it. Really because, thorough. Yeah, oh. because I mean, we basically like went over each account, like three times it felt like because we had like the first tier Waves of what we of all like, did and then yeah. we went over it again and then we went over it again and it just kept like eliminating 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 so it felt it felt like we you, you know put a lot of thought and effort into it obviously to make it the most fair and to make it just like the best program yeah. that it could be and once again we weren't just picking people who had a huge following because i know mm -hmm. that's kind of like the easy go-to that people do but yeah there's more thought put into it than that and it did it took us about two days to to do that yeah and yeah. go through all of the entries we had and uh yeah when you say that we kind of did our things separately and then we mm -hmm. came together we really did like we gave each other kind of like basic criteria but we kind of wanted to see what each person came up with yeah and there was basically like a a uh, uh, stoplight system mm -hmm. rating where we, we would yeah. go through and we're like, this seems good, but I need to wait against others first. And that would get like a yellow. Red yeah. was like automatically, well, no. And they were in the conference room. They had the laptop set up. You guys had the projector set up. They are projecting it on the on the dry board. Yeah. So pull like you Instagram could pull it. They'd feed. have, they literally had, you know, all the person's information, their application, and then they pull up their Instagram feed yeah. and two screens. And it so then was, you guys could go through it together. The three of you could look it over, and then you could compare the notes between each person. That's like what if, we did after we finished yeah. our individual ones. Yeah. We came together with the ones we had left, yeah. and then we compared all those, I and wish, then kind of rounds after that. I wish we could have, like, shared how the process worked because yeah. it was extremely fair. And what was really cool is that and upon initially pulling these accounts and looking at them, uh, we actually, the way our screens were set up, we couldn't even see the follower account no. until we got that up on the actual yeah. Instagram feed. So mm -hmm. truly, we went through every single account that we had on all the applicants. Um, and, and followers had nothing to do with it. And, and some of you guys will see that when we do re you know, release the, yeah. the final You'll see, winners. it's actually very reasonable. <laughs> um, we, you know, it's... That's the thing. We wanted to give everybody a chance, and it was all based off of interaction. There were some people that had a, a lower following, but they were so active, and they made yeah. videos, and they made story posts, and they made uh, they had YouTube channels that they were starting up, and it was all sort of – again, starting, starting out. It not, doesn't matter if not you anything have, like, established. they had, like, 30 subscribers. Like, that's fine. It, they're showing initiative mm -hmm. by and we doing love that kind that, of stuff. Yeah. That's really cool. So we love that. We like that, we like that yeah, drive and hustle. That. That's kind of what – you know, we – We've based everything off of what we've done, and so when we see that in other people, we're like really respectful. Yeah, before was, somebody complains, cool. yes, we know this is an Instagram thing. It's just you know there are a lot of variables out there, and somebody doing a YouTube channel or something like that. That's that's like bonus credit. That that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the other thing is uh, for those of you that are wondering, we've gotten a lot of requests for Australia, mm -hmm. and how do we get products in Australia? We have 
products in Australia. Mm -hmm. We have a distributor in Australia. Yes. And it's Mark Perch at carcareco.com, or is that right? AU.com.co.au. .co.au. Let me I pull believe. that back up, make sure. <laughs> Let me pull up his Instagram. Uh, here. Anytime but you do the non US addresses, you want to make sure you I think got it's right. .co.au. So, okay. um, but the, so any of you guys that are wondering how to get a hold of uh, products in uh, Australia, um, also in Australia, there's going to be the, the uh, uh, huge, probably the largest car show in all of Australia, Summer Nats, happening this week. Um, that's going on in Australia right now, and we have a booth there. None of us are there, <laughs> but Mark from Car Care Co. Uh, is there. So, again, the website is www.carcareco.com.au. So uh, they are going to be selling their new distributor of ours. They're selling PNS, Rag Company, um, you should uh, and, uh, give out their Instagram so people yeah, the can Instagram get the info there. Yeah, the Instagram is AU Car Care Co. That's the name of their Instagram. If you can see that up there. There we go. Can nice. Adam brand new starting I mean it's a brand new page. Uh, so go check that out as give him a like. Yeah. Um, he's going to be he's really focused on growing uh, uh, Australia. He's tell, a cool guy. I tell met your him. car friends and detailing friends too yeah. because we, we get this question so often. We want more people to know that it's there. So, honestly, we're asking for your help to get the yeah. word out. Yep. And uh, if you are going to Summer Nats, uh, go find his booth. He actually has a selection of Rag Company merch. So, he's got some Wash Wednesday shirts. He's got some whiskey nice. shirts. He's got some classics. Uh, and he's got a bunch of hats. So, yeah. uh, you can go over there, pick something up. It's a limited supply. But here's your chance to grab something quick and easy. Um, and, yeah, so we're really excited to start 2019 in Australia and New Zealand, which is going to be fun. We're going to see how that grows. Um, It'd be cool to go there sometime. One of these days we will. Mm -hmm. You never know. So, uh -huh. and Australia? Then we've got, yeah. How long a flight is that? It's a long flight. Uh, <laughs> a very long so, Oh, well, you guys uh, have a good time. Yeah. Let me but, know. Uh, coming up, we've got Mobile Tech. Less than two yes. weeks away, we're going to be at God, Mobile Tech in Orlando. Soon now, wow. So uh, you'll get to see Dane, Anthony, and I, and Jeff at Mobile Tech. Uh, we'll be there um, at the Orlando Convention Center. Please sign up. Go. Please it's a ton of fun. Come hang out. Uh, <laughs> come the, ways, the ways to our heart are Diet Pepsi, yep. High Chews. Yep. Uh, we like the uh, peanut butter filled Cliff Bars. Yep. Peanut and butter filled. The peanut butter filled ones. I think the chocolate They're with peanut chocolate butter. chocolate with peanut butter inside. Delicious. Of them. We love Amazing. those. Those, mm -hmm. those, those are, I think those are the three things that we need to get us through our day. Yeah. And Red Dane, we love those. Dane, do you have any <laughs> Oh, and Red Bull. Yeah. <laughs> Dane needs Red Bull. Yep. Yeah. And then Red Bull. So sugar free or sugared, whatever yep. you prefer, different flavors. Um, you don't have to. But we'll, be, but we'll be at Mobile <laughs> Tech. Uh, we're excited just because that's always a fun show to see everybody. Um, we get to talk to a bunch of people that we maybe didn't get to see at SEMA. Uh, we also get a chance to like hang out with some it's of the folks. More, that, it's more intimate. Yeah, it, it is uh, very. Intimate. SEMA's cool, but it's big and showy. Here at MTE, it's still it's, it's concentrated. Not small, but it is concentrated. It's focused on this part of the auto industry. Yeah. So you're definitely going to have more of an opportunity to have like conversations with people and not feel like, uh oh, I got to jump over here and then do this. Like yeah. there's less of that. Yeah. And there's now, education days and stuff too. So. Yeah. The first day's education day. Thankfully I teach uh 830 in the morning and then I'm done for the rest of the day, oh. <laughs> which is kind of cool. So I can hit some of the other classes, uh, which will be fun. Uh, I like being able to sit in on a lot of that stuff. Um, yeah. And it's one of those things that's like, you're never too young or never too old to learn about detailing and different ways, oh, yeah. different revenue streams, different ways to run your business, all that kind of stuff. Well, so it's, it's crazy because when we were there last year um, and we were because we filmed a lot of the uh, different presentations and some of the questions people had, they were they, they truly I don't want to say they've been living under a rock, but they they, they truly so people had, are literally just learning. They had no idea. And they just don't and, know. And there would be a guy that would be in there and Levi was talking about microfiber and he was just like, uh, question, so I don't understand. I've been a detailer for, you know, 30, 40 years. What do you mean about this style of towel? Or, what, you know, what do you mean about this? Isn't a microfiber just a microfiber? Yeah, and that's yeah. basically what he says. He's like, I just go to Walmart and I buy my towels there. And and, 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 and everybody's like, wait, what? You know, yeah. but he just truly didn't know. But he so didn't know, and he and wanted it, to and know. And it's nothing to be, uh, like, ashamed of. Yeah, don't be embarrassed we're by there it. To educate. At least you're trying to learn. But so. it still surprises me to know how many people are out there 
that go to these events that really don't know a whole lot and are wanting to get educated and they yeah. want that education. So it's, it's awesome. Well, yeah. and it's fun to watch because, you know, Ivan teaches a class on efficiency. He teaches a class on O&R. Mm-hmm. Uh, he teaches through, I think he's got three or four classes for yeah. the day. And Mike Phillips is teaching literally a class every hour. Oh, yeah. yeah. For seven hours. Like, that's insane. Like, the fact that he's literally blocked out that much time and I'm doing one class. I like, should keep an ear out to hear the whole swirl squirrels thing. Yeah, <laughs> but... Uh, so we're excited about that. We'll be there. Uh, we're going to try and wonder, hit up are we Disney doing, World. Are we doing a super podcast? We might. We'll see. That's we, haven't, a... we haven't talked to anybody, but yeah. it's something that we could probably do maybe with the Rupes guys because we'll be there with them. Uh, we might be able to figure something out in the evening. This is the time to, to remind you guys that we did do a super podcast last year yeah. with uh, a huge selection of heavy hitters from the industry. Absolutely awesome. You guys should go check it out. Oh, uh, we are going to be having dinner with PNS one of those nights. Uh-huh. Um, they're going to be, they host a dinner. Hopefully it's not a steak house, and shake. So. <laughs> Hopefully not. But we will, uh, so who knows, we could probably record that because we'll be around a lot of people then too. So that might be something fun to do, bring Zoom. Yeah. And, and uh, it, but. fun teaser, last year we, we did you know a video with Adam LZ, and that was really fun. And we're, we're probably going to be able to spend a little more time with Matt this time around, you know, hanging out and, like, going over some stuff for funsies. But uh, I, I got maybe a trick up my sleeve for fun stuff we uh, get to record this time out. I got to watch Wednesday in mind. Ooh. Yeah. So, see what we can do. Yeah. Just see how Matt's got, that. That, got that new little M1. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to we're gonna visit Matt again uh, while we're out there. <laughs> and... Uh, It'll just be fun. It'll be a good little trip to get out. And then uh, we're home for about a week. Yep. Yeah. And then you and I head back out to Rupes, Denver, uh, for the OG weekend. Yep. Yeah. Which will be yeah. fun. And uh, as far as I know, it's so, us and um, Bob Phillips from PNS is going to be there uh, at the event, the OG event. Well, you know what? Somebody did reach out to me here. So I'm going to give a little quick little shout out to a oh. podcast listener, uh, Scotty O. Detail says that he listens to the podcast and he lives about 20 minutes south of the Rupas facility and he'd be happy to drive us from the airport to our destination Aww, uh, thanks, if, we're, if we're looking to to talk with or if we're looking to hang out with somebody that doesn't discuss uh, political views and only cleaning <laughs> cars so he, he heard my comment thanks, last Scott, time thanks Scotty appreciate it so if we need a ride thanks dude appreciate <laughs> so, yeah, the offer we've, we've got a car <laughs> we, we Anthony are landing and hopefully we'll get a Mercedes you're still welcome uh, to hang out we've absolutely. got a we, yeah. we, uh, we rent with uh, sixt.com and we've got a choice between a Mercedes CLA, yeah. a BMW 3 Series, yeah. or a Volvo S60 so or V60. So uh, we'll see which Ooh, one we get V8. when we when we land <laughs> um, as to what they give us. <laughs> I want like a 335. Like give me like a 335i. <laughs> that would be pretty. Uh, that'd be pretty nice. Well, you know? be fun. The three, so, 335 got replaced by the 340. Did it? Is yep. it still a twin turbo? It's probably V6? a three thirty five though. That basically German manufacturers have stopped actually relating the numbers to the displacement of the engine, and now they're uh, just making stuff up as they go. Oh, it's fun oh, for them. That's yeah, good for them. Uh, <laughs> it's fun for them. So <laughs> here comes Buzz so we'll Day. do that. <laughs> and we'll do Denver, and then we're home for two weeks, and then we head to Atlanta for the. We're going to be there for the G Technic Serum Summit. Yeah, uh, that's cool. At the Atlanta Motorsports Park. So. Those are our three big trips right off the bat for January and the first weekend or second weekend of February. Um, and then we're home. We're going to be home for a while. Yeah. At least maybe until May or June. Yeah. May or so, June, things may start to pick up again. Yeah. I'm uh, trying to figure out like a personal vacation trip somewhere in there, which I never do. I know you guys are like, what? Dane's taking, Dane's a, taking a day vacation. off. Vacation. But it's a thing with like really old friends going back like 15 years and want to, you know, yeah. every two years we're trying to make it like a So thing. right so now, as we have it stated, June is what I'm July thinking. is Air Force One yeah. and Wax Stock. Yeah. So those are going to be back to back probably. Yep. So we're going to have to, we'll be gone a long time. That'll planes, be a big, planes, more planes. big trip that time period. Ugh. And Anthony, <laughs> then your wedding is in August. Uh, September. 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 Okay. Yeah. So then we get back for August. We have we're going to be doing Monterey. Yeah. And then uh, September Anthony's wedding. I didn't know yeah. we could talk about that. Yet. All All I'm saying is we're going to Monterey. Oh, That's okay. all. <laughs> they don't know in what capacity or anything oh, okay. else. Okay. It's just Car Week. A lot of people go to Car Week. Yeah. yeah. Lupo Motors went to Car Week. We're going there. We're going to yeah, go yeah. try to wash Wednesday some people. Yeah, we'll wash Wednesday. Say hi. Nice McLaren. <laughs> you, uh, wanna, oh, that car is a $10 million car. Can we do a wash Wednesday on This it? is going to be the most commented on portion of this video. Yeah. I can already tell. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we are going to be a wax stock in July. 
Uh, so we're excited about that. You guys get to do a trip across the pond with us. It'll be fun. Um, we're probably going to fill February, March, April, May with guests. So we'll probably have mm -hmm. Rennie Doyle back, obviously. We want to get Dylan back <coughs> from Rupes up here. Yep. Um, I want to try and get Andy and uh, Jason That'd be awesome. uh, up here. Yeah. And maybe even uh, uh, get uh, Noxie, too, in that mm -hmm. mix. Mm -hmm. Um, so if we can get those four or five, six guys in for that week, those months, that would be awesome. Uh, we'd like to try and get Ivan and maybe Adam yeah. Huber, uh, up here again in that time period. So we can do another open house thing. Uh, yeah, I think springtime will be awesome for some open houses. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think people, you know, get them ready, just kind of get it going as the yeah. season kicks off. The, the, it, the weather know? is, the weather's <laughs> perfect for that kind of stuff. Um, you know, our studio will be cleared out to be able to host some pretty big events and i'm i'm looking forward to that that'll be yeah. exciting well more opportunities yeah, then, to get morgan some more training too yeah. like getting her up to speed and everything because mm -hmm. i mean you're learning but it's a little hard outside to do a lot of the things we normally take for granted detailing mm -hmm. so yeah we'll, also, we'll make it work in also the studio. there's also so many other things right now that we have going on yeah. right now to where i'm like i'm like holy smokes we haven't even had time to play with certain products that we want to play with yeah. Um, yeah. yeah because we've been so busy with just the other business development um, okay, well, let's talk about what's your what's been your favorite part about 2018. Hmm. Uh, I favorite favorite memory favorite moment. My favorite of... my favorite memory. I was talking to my wife about this last night because we were kind of going over the year. Yeah. For our calendar as to what trips I, I have already down. Yeah. Um, and the one I said that I had the most probably the most fun uh, was our UK trip. You mm -hmm. guys didn't go. It was just Jeff and I. Yeah, the UK so was probably fun. my favorite, and I'm really looking forward to this year with you guys. Um, and then uh, the other one that I had probably the most fun of fun was the Detailers Domain event. Yeah, back east. Yeah. I was so and pleasantly surprised by that. That was really, I, really I think, fun. and I'm excited for that one. And it, that may hit May June on our on our time frame. We got to wait, find out what Phil's time period is for that. Yeah. Um, but that I had probably the most fun at. Yeah, and. Um, and I, and Puerto Rico was a blast, but, uh, I was telling my wife this Puerto Rico was, it was fun to be there and see all the people and stuff, but it was fairly stretched. It was a lot of time. Mm. Uh, but this was such a highly concentrated three days that we were there that yeah. we knocked out a ton of stuff in three yeah. days and had a blast. Cause I felt like. Because we had the KXK guys, because we had Rupes, because it was us, because of Phil at Detailers Domain, yeah. because of, you know, uh, Rob Ferretti. Like, I felt more like it was a trip with friends than... It was really fun. ...than a work trip. And it's always pleasant, you know, when you meet people you've never actually met in person before and stuff, and you're like, oh. And to have all our listeners and just fans. Just to that be able to do that. And great. go go check out that travel video. I really, yeah. I love that. It was a lot of fun. That travel video. I'm particularly so, proud of that It was that yours. One. Dude, I don't know. I, I I always think back to the the Florida trip last year. Yeah, um, Disney Disney World was a blast. Well, was just cool. I mean, just, I think just that whole weekend, like Adam I LZ. like I just love how a lot of the things didn't go as planned. <laughs> like I actually liked that things didn't go uh, it didn't go our way. But I love and, how versatile we can be. We and can I, make it work. And I did yeah, it on the fly. And I love yeah. that we did it on the fly. I loved. Um, I think what I what a big thing I like is the 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 weather change going from how it is here to how it is there and getting that kind of like that quick hit of nice weather. You know what I mean? Being able to wear shorts and shirts and oh, things like that. Oh, it's muggy out. That's weird. And well, it's it's just different. Yeah, it was funny. And like when you get off the plane and there are ladies in like dresses, dresses and, and like swimsuits basically, and you're yeah. like. What the heck? And we're getting off, and I'm, I mean, as you see me now, I've got a flannel. He's basically and, dressed like this, and a sweatshirt on and pants. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot we're in 80 degree weather. Yeah. So I think it was just I think I like that 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 quick seasonal change and uh, going down and visiting my sister and, that, and, that, and it was just a fun trip. And I mean, I think my favorite was just being able to do things on the fly like me and Dane did in yeah. this in this freaking sprinter van uh <laughs> driving at all times of the night that reminds me do we know what we're renting when we're there this time around uh your dad hasn't picked the rental yet for yeah. this we got to get another and, van again you know, we may or may not have ran many tolls <laughs> not a um, mattress though i, was, uh, I think he's going to get an suv <laughs> not as happy i think he's going to get an I suv be. yeah probably um, suburban or something but yeah no it, it was just it was a good time i think that was was great 
I also like the Detailer's Domain event. Um, that was a fun one. I think that one, though, for some reason, I felt the most away from home at the Detailer's Domain event. Yeah, it was in, a long way. In comparison to the Florida event, for well, some reason. Well, you got reason. to see your sister. Well, you had your sister yeah, I, And Florida, I think yeah. I think that's what it was. I think there was, like, some connection I had there, you know, versus being at Detailer's Domain where I'm like, this is cool. Drive around New Jersey. I love seeing the East Coast. That was awesome. Uh, going back next year, I'll be more excited because now I know what I'm getting myself into. Um, other than that, though, I, the other uh, one was Rupes getting to build our own machine. That yes. was that was yeah. yeah that was gonna. I was going to Hefe's with Dylan and M- and Amanda. Hefe's okay. The, the combination of the Hefe's, the machines, and then being at my my second home away from home, the Omni <laughs> Interlock, and I'm like, oh, like that's <laughs> which I just booked our room for Dil- for uh, Anthony and I for Dude, that event. So that 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 combo, and then just sitting there, and then just talking with Jason, and just Jason just being the goofiest guy. Jason is. Stealth hilarious, like he's he's so is. funny. He, he seems like oh, he's this very widely, highly regarded guy in the industry. Is just no, dude's funny. Like dude, just Jason's, just hang out Jason's with him, so funny, sit aside dude. for a bit, and just have a conversation. And sooner or later, you're gonna be like, wait, what? <laughs> no, he's, he's he's a blast. It's man. awesome. I love, I love talking with him. So that was me, Dane. What's what's up with you? Oh, man, I mean, you basically listed off the ones I really enjoy. I, I. I have a hard time picking a favorite because I just like going on these trips. Maybe it's because I don't do a whole lot of vacations and trips on my own time. So by doing this, I love you guys. You guys are like my work family, but I consider you like extended family anyway. Yeah. We're all buds. Family so vacations. Yeah, yeah that's how it feels It's really for fun, us. and I, I yeah. enjoy that, even if it's like the annoying brother sometimes. It's still, <laughs> it's fun, and newly annoying sister. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I so, just we're working love on that. Dane sitting in the back seat driving through the East Coast thinking we're going to die at any moment with Levi driving. <laughs> oh, like, my like, God. Dane's just like, oh. I also, I also love that when he had an upset stomach, <laughs> and he had, I'm <laughs> Sorry, Dean, I have to say this. Oh, it's the funny. You go, you're like, oh man, my stomach hurts. And then I look in the back and you have a pile of Slim Jim wrappers <laughs> and Red Bulls. empty Red Bulls. And I'm like, is that all you've eaten? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah for food. the last 24 hours. Yeah, I'm like, that's yeah, probably that's why. Probably why. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Like, don't tell me what I already know. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Stop and go no. to the bathroom I, in uh, I, yeah, old, love... old, old colonial Williamsburg. <laughs> <laughs> like, I geez. love those trips. Yeah. I love getting to meet people who I only know through like comments and stuff like that. And they're like, I'm, you know, so and so. Nice to meet you. And I go, check it out. Oh, whoa, you're that guy. I know yeah. who you are. And yeah. it's really fun to be able to have like these real conversations and get to know all these people. And I, I really appreciate, you know, the fans, I mean, they're, they're really awesome. But going on these trips and stuff, I, I really try not to take it for granted. I don't get homesick if only because maybe when I go on a trip or something like that, I don't want to say I'm a sociopath, but at he the same time, about his home. I basically, I just like, I'm here now, I'm living in the moment, I'm going to enjoy this, and I'm going to make sure I try and record some stuff for the inevitable travel video that follows. Like, yeah. I'm always thinking about what's going to fit in a video? What's going to be good for that? So that's where my head's at a lot of the time. But I try and really be open to if things don't work out, got to be flexible. Trying to make make plans work is admirable. But the fact is sometimes things don't work out. And like Florida last year, our stuff didn't show up. Our booth didn't show up. We basically had to make do with what we had. And it worked out great. But at the same time, here's hoping it does show up this year. Yeah, we set it (laughs) off already. So hopefully it arrives. Uh, Oh, wow. But, you know, I, I just... I really like that we don't let ourselves be limited by plans. You know, we're we're yeah, able we to are color still, outside the yeah, lines. We're very I really on like the fly that. That appeals stuff. to me. Creative energy is just like, well, this is more exciting. Yeah, this is different. This is fun. So well, I like that. Yeah, it's scary for some people to go. Uh, well, I like, plan for no, this. <laughs> yeah. So like, uh, that was one of the things in Puerto Rico. Um, <clears throat> they are very eh, whatever. It yeah. is what it is. See? When it happens, it My happens. <laughs> but uh, but for like Jason Rose, that was very hard for yeah. him because he's like, I am on a time schedule of this, this, this. We have it scheduled out that we're supposed to be doing this at this time. Jason's very funny, but Jason like, is a planned He guy. is very planned. And so that was very hard for him to go like, why haven't we started yet? We're like an hour behind. And it's like, oh, they're waiting for everybody to show up. He's like- Thought it was supposed to start at 9 a.m. I was like, well, yeah, it is, but they're all well, just you say kinda... that, and that's when people show up. Yeah, <laughs> they showed up at 10, so we started an hour later. 
Like, uh, and yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that kind of mindset. As a matter of fact, I'm sure there are many people in the detailing mindset, if you're the, you know, uh, of the obsessed variety or anything like that. Yeah, okay, I get it. You have like, it was set for this time. It has to be exactly like this. If it's not, I'm irritated. Mm -hmm. And I get that. But at the same time, there are also people like me out in the world going, all right, brush it off. Yeah. Let's see what else, what can we do. Yeah. What yeah. can we do to make this, you know, a good time? So I like that's, that. That's appealing. Like, that's, that's my favorite. I, I love like I get accused of being laissez faire about some stuff, but that really I, I think things turn out better when they don't go exactly according well, to plan. I just yeah. And I like the fact that we're everybody like in our group is so comfortable. If somebody says, I'm going to branch out and do this, like we're going to divide and conquer. Like you can just trust that that's going to work out yeah. because yeah. like. For example, <laughs> what we did. when like when me and Dane didn't have any of our we didn't have any detailing products going into Adam's you yeah. know, detail job. We didn't have anything. We had literally nothing. Yeah, and we, we, scrounged we didn't even have our own stuff. towels yeah. for no. a moment. We had to we had to, we had to scrounge some of our own towels. So the the cool <laughs> there may part, have been some other towels used yeah, in as <laughs> but th there was it was just cool though, the fact that Dane's like, What do you need? I'm like I'm gonna need a knee pad because I'm gonna be on the ground on Adam's lower, you know, lowered car. We need to stop at a store. I'm gonna go get my to the garden center. Go get a kneeling yeah, pad so I can kneel down. He's like, "Are you gonna use that again?" I'm like, "Nope, it's a one-time buy." I'm also <laughs> buying a belt. Um, I need this. I need this. I need this. And so we just picked up all this stuff on the fly, and then showed up and just miraculously made it work. Yeah, that's my favorite. A van, two mans, and no plans. <laughs> yeah, and then going to a, a dive bar at 2 a.m. because we needed a much needed drink. That that one's on me. Basically, yeah. heading back and just like, oh my god, I think we just went through that. To did we pay? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. That, it's our right. toll road situation need... is foreign to us here in Idaho where it's like not a thing. Yeah. So East Coast definitely wakes you up. You're like, oh, was that a flash from a camera? Oh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just a, keep driving. I know it's somewhere out there it. on the internet. There's a panic picture of like. <laughs> yeah. But so. whatever. Um, but no, I think yeah. that kind of wraps up our year, though. I think well, we had, I think well, we had hold a. Hold on, what about Morgan here? Oh, she had 2018 so sorry, Morgan. Well, what, you, Morgan, I am sorry, oh, Morgan. Oh okay. Sorry, so <laughs> she was so quiet over there. I forgot she was there. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the moment. I'm just she's, listening she's to you new. pour she's your exciting. heart out. She's exciting. She's absorbing. She's going. I can't wait till I can she's, go on all she's these things. She's living vicariously. Yeah. I'm trying us. to feel included. And okay. as as she gets more versed in detailing, she'll be able to go on some of these trips. Yeah. And be able so to you guys will be able to find stuff. Morgan uh, somewhere near you yeah. sometime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about well, your 2018. What, what, was, I'm your, sure what was your 2018 highlights? Even it had nothing to do with us. All right, my 2018. But I hope it does. <laughs> Highlights. At the beginning of the year, mm. February 12th, is when I dropped my car off for my new suspension. So that was that was a turning point because... You got air ride. That was when I got... When she started getting yep. famous. That was when yep. I started being cool. So that, that was <laughs> a great modest. point. Um, and then let's see what else fun happened. Um, I got to go to Texas for the first time with my last job. So... That was fun. I've never been to Texas before, so I got to go to Texas. And then I feel like my favorite point in 2018 was actually going to Seattle for um, Stance Wars. Ooh, and we yeah. drove, we left the night before, um, which was a Thursday, at like 10 p.m. to drive to Seattle in my car with three people. Cozy. Very. <laughs> <laughs> and so we drove all the way to Seattle in one night. Um, we got there at 5 a.m., and we were staying at our friend's um, apartment, which was awesome. He lives on the 26th floor of an apartment building. So we had literally the coolest view ever. And it was okay. his, you know, it was his apartment. So it wasn't like a hotel or anything. It was cool. So we got, um, we got there at 5 a.m. And then we didn't, we didn't sleep until that night at like 2 a.m. Because we were, you know, hanging out with people, doing things, whatnot. And so basically. <coughs> that was on Friday. Yeah, that was on Friday. So we didn't we didn't go to sleep until Saturday morning and we you know, we Rough. left Thursday night. What it's so. like to be young again. I remember right. those days. Gosh. And we yeah. we had to carry all of our stuff around yeah. and we cuz we couldn't at that point we didn't have a garage pass to get in and out of the garage. So we had to leave my car in the garage. And we had to either walk or ride bikes all over Seattle with all of the camera equipment. <laughs> and we literally didn't eat anything. Oh. It, I don't know. I honestly don't know how like we survived because we didn't eat. We didn't sleep for like over 24 hours. And we were like youthful energy. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's adrenaline. Yeah. 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 So that, that was super fun. And then obviously I started a new job. Obviously. So that was cool. <laughs> so yeah, it's finishing off. 
pretty good. It was good. pretty fun. Coming so up, Millhouse. We, we like to say that the Wash Wednesday was a turning point, right? Yeah, yeah. that was definitely yeah. a turning point. Yeah. I'd say that's fair. It was a good time. Well, I'm at, no, but I, I am. I'm excited to see what we've got this year. Like, yeah. we've got a lot of cool stuff planned. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming out. Um, we're going to probably do some revisions on some towels this year. True. Um, that that uh, we're going to be changing around. Um, we got a couple products that we're going to be debuting. Um, we're probably going to be long time coming in some cases. Yeah, we might be <laughs> adding uh, a few more things to the lineup. Um, but all in all, we're trying. We're always trying to improve everything we have. Uh, we're going to be improving our audiovisual stuff. We're going to be uh, doing a lot more stuff with our videos, our podcasts, our Instagram, our Facebook. Um, we're going to have a lot more stuff this year as we go. Uh, and, and remember, you know. it's we're we're the media team along with Tim. Like, yeah. we do <laughs> we really do a lot of different stuff, and I can't take it lightly just how many different things we try and yeah. do and make it engaging and interesting yeah. and fun for people. So, yeah, really appreciate you guys, you know, sharing it with friends and like it and all that stuff. We really appreciate that because we work hard. I, yeah. I know it looks like we just hang out on video all day, but. We do. We, we work well, really and, hard, and, and you it guys feels also, really good when you know other people appreciate yeah. it. Well, and the big thing is we're also trying to grow the business beyond the borders of the U.S. And so yeah. uh, you know we already have our distributors in other countries. Our goal this year, too, is to grow them as well so that yeah. the brand name itself of the Rag Company and that <laughs> logo right there, you'll see more and more throughout the world. Yeah, that's we don't want to just be a towel company. Yeah, you know, you want to be... Because I know that's that uh, it kind of clicked with me during the live Q and A we had uh, last week when somebody's like, "What's TRC? What? It's just a show about towels." Like that that kind of like, "Oh, you're new here," kind of thing. Yeah. Clicked, yeah. and it was like, "All right, yes, we're called the Rag Company. Yes, we sell towels, and we're really proud of the quality and everything we do to make that stuff work." But we're also really trying to do a lot of different yeah. things. Yeah, we want to get more into you know vinyl wrapping. We want to get more into PPF. We want to get more into wet sanding. Into yeah. we don't want to be finishing. Limited. We want to we want to try and encompass all avenues. We want to get more into wheels and wheel cleaning yeah. and wheel you know all like we want to get into <laughs> stuff where we're not just focused on wiping polish off of a car yeah. or drying a car. Yeah. We want to try and branch out and create solutions for all these different avenues for the vehicle so that everybody that listens can be well-rounded right. um, in all these different areas. The and, wheel cleaning cracked me you know, up because paint touch up and every all other that comment stuff. is, why didn't you do the wheels first? Yeah, and so this year we're going to do the wheels. This year we're going to do the wheels. No. Yeah. <laughs> we'll so do get off of it. videos about wheels, you guys. Yeah. We will. We'll yeah. do it. <laughs> I think I think people with overthink wheel cleaning a little bit too much. I yeah, think they some think people like, are like I think they think like what, what, what fear. magic are you doing on these wheels? That's probably the least magical portion. It's yeah. a lot of it's a lot of grunting and cleaning try not and, to get stuff in your and try face. not to get stuff in your face and try not to drop the towel. Like it's not an attractive thing cleaning wheels. I don't no. know how the girls on Instagram do it where they're cleaning their <laughs> wheels and make it look good because I'm like, you want to see me clean a wheel? I'm going to look like an ape over there leaning over my wheel, heaving, trying to get that thing clean. It's not, it's not a pretty sight. Yeah. I think like Ivan would got, recommend like a rack power attack clean, or Power something. clean in my mouth. I'm like spitting it out and it's yeah. just not good. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to see that. Yep. So, yeah, we're going to be doing awesome wheel cleaning videos, other stuff, too. But, yeah, I just thought that was funny because it's like literally every other new comment we get is, why didn't you do the wheels first? Yeah. So we got a lot of stuff, cool stuff planned. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be fun. 2019 mm-hmm. is going to be a good year. Yep. I'm going to do more camping with my kids. Yeah. Now you got to camping sh- rig. And get in shape. Yeah. No, that's true. Because I turn 39 next month. <sighs> or February. All oh. right. So. Bro fist for uh, not being fat no more. <gasps> Boom. What the yeah. Are you also not going to get fat anymore, Dane's, Dane? Well, Dane, what uh, are you saying? I'm Dane saying you guys anything. are already basically fit. You don't have as far to go as, say, like I do. So No, I got I got a ways to go. I mean, I'm going back to bodybuilding.com, Anthony. Here. Oh, well, snap. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. That. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. There's going to be more pictures of him all over this office oh, building. No, <laughs> we're just going to plaster him we everywhere. Need to, like, we need to that? make sure that doesn't happen. We have oh, large okay. posters that we've all made. <laughs> she's like, she's like, we need to make sure that doesn't happen. She's just, Anthony, I brought you some candy today. 
okay? Yeah. I'm like, Morgan, please stop feeding no, me. There's all this and then every downstairs. time we go to a show, people are going to be like, why did you guys hire a male model for your booth? No, I don't know. I don't know about that, Dane. It's, why'd you do that? Uh, why? Perfect. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Cool, Dane. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Making it weird. All right. So, checking out. Guys, thank you so much for listening, so much for watching. If you're on the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel, I will, because we talked about it, reminder here, Go check out on the Rag Company channel, since it was before we were doing our podcast on here. Go check out the Big Super podcast with the yeah, IDA and all that stuff. It's really great. You're going to see a ton of awesome people that you'll probably recognize, including this guy. And uh, that's from our MTE time last year. So it would be great to kind of get that back swirling in the ether again. Yeah. And uh, the trip video to the East Coast, I'm also particularly proud of that one. So go check out our TRC travel vlogs. They're fun. There, I actually take some time editing them. I know hardly anybody watches them, but I enjoy making them, so deal. Anyway, guys, thank you. Leave us a rating, a review on iTunes, and that's about it, guys. Till awesome. next week. Adios. Till next Happy year. Happy New Year. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>